Ukrainian troops have captured yet another village in Russia's Kursk region after making an incursion into the Russian territory on August 6 and advancing in the area. Images of Ukrainian fighters planting a flag in Gaivo settlement of Sudza district in Kursk region have been circulated on Telegram channels. The footage showing Ukrainian fighters planting a flag on the building of the local office of Gazprom company in Sudza has also been published. It should be noted that the attack on Kursk region is the largest scale Ukrainian ground offensive on Russian territory since the start of the full-fledged war in February 2022. Footage has been released, showing Ukrainian troops entering the territory of Russia's Kursk region on August 6. Hundreds of Ukrainian fighters supported with dozens of armored combat vehicles and tanks broke through the defense line of the Russian army and advanced in the territory of Kursk region. Ukrainian troops have advanced up to 15 kilometers into Kursk, according to some reports. The operation in Kursk marked the largest scale attack on Russian territory since the start of war in February 2022. The United States has announced $125 million in military aid to Ukraine days after the Ukrainian army launched large-scale attack on Russia's Kursk region. The military aid that includes Stinger missiles and anti-armor systems, was announced on Friday, three days after Ukraine's largest attack on Russian soil since the start of the war in February 2022. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken released a statement explaining the contents and purpose of the military aid package. This $125 million package of support, provided under Presidential Drawdown Authority, includes air defense interceptors, munitions for rocket systems and artillery, multi-mission radars and anti-tank weapons that will help Ukraine protect its troops, its people and its cities from Russian attacks and reinforce its capabilities across the front lines. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said while explaining the content and purpose of military aid. In his statement, Blinken reaffirmed United States support of Ukraine, stressing that Washington will deploy this new assistance as quickly as possible to bolster Ukraine's defense of its territory and its people. 
Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky thanked Biden and the U.S. for the aid package. We appreciate the United States' support from the very first days of Russia's full-scale invasion, which has already allowed us to save many lives together," he wrote in a post on X social media platform. The package will be the tenth sent to Ukraine since U.S. President Joe Biden signed the Ukraine Security Supplemental Appropriations Act in April.